right, so uh, we're going to connect these two parallel, two alternators in parallel. Um, I've got both of them up and running. Uh, we're both at 210 volts. Um, just because it's easier to hit than 208. Um, we've got our running generator, which is uh, generator 1 at 60 hertz. And we're going to parallel generator 2 to that. Now you'll notice that those three lamps at the top are flashing intermittently. Um, and the, the synchroscope is moving in the slow direction. So that means that generator 2, A, is running too slow and B has the incorrect facing. So first off, let's, uh, let's just change the speed a little bit. closer to the same speed. So now um, our generators are running at just a slightly different speed and you really see those bulbs kind of go through a, uh, a pattern, right? None, they're never all the same at the same time. And the reason for that is we've got the incorrect phase sequence. So if we swap on this in, incoming alternator, now you can see those um, bulbs are all changing at the exact same time. Okay, you see our synchroscope there. If we change our, hert, our hertz meter is sitting at 60, we change it to 60 to generator two. Uh, generator two is actually running too fast. So when we bring our hertz down Bring that second alternator down to 60 hertz. Now the lights are staying on. They're not very bright. They're, you know, fairly dim. Um, you can see our synchroscope needle is sitting here, and it's it's slowly dropping. So that shows us that we have the sequence right because the bulbs are all the same, um, but they're slightly changing changing uh, brightness because. Even though they're in the phase, same phase sequence, as the two phase positions move, move uh, across each other, there becomes a potential difference between the, the two line A's. And then, uh, so right now they're 180 degrees out. And you'll see those lights dim when phase position's exactly the same. So our, our, uh, our two alternators are running almost the same speed. You can tell they're running almost the same speed because the rate that those lights brighten and darken is really slow. And this needle is just barely moving. Actually, it's kind of floating between one direction and the other because these machines are, again, are not, uh, not perfect. Our needle base, was basically stopped at 12. Oh, now it's moved off. If our needle is stopped at exactly 12 o'clock, all three lamps will be dark, which means there's no, no uh, potential from one alternator to the other, and we can go ahead and close the switch and sync them um, as we're, uh, we're falling out of sync. So we're going to let this rotate. We've got our incoming generator runs slightly faster than the running one, and when they get to 12, oh, are we not? Oh, flip this one on. I didn't have that one on. Sorry. Now, when they're close to 12, we're gonna 
we've turned both generators on, so these two generators are locked in harmony. Okay? They're both putting out the same voltage. Um, we've got watt meters, amp meters, and bar meters. Now, if we happen to lose some prime mover speed on this, alter this alternator, you'll see our hertz is coming down just a little bit. Both stay in the same. Drop this a little more. Now you'll actually see the watt meter on this meter on this alternator start to rise, and this one's deflected in the, the opposite direction. That's because I've taken some prime mover power away from this alternator, and it's become a load for the, the existing one. So we'll bring these back up to 60 hertz because that's not what we want anyway. So now we're running at 60 hertz, still at our 210 volts. Um, everything's good. All right. Let's put some load on this. Oh, we have load. Uh, all those are off. Everything's good. We're going to close the switch to the load. We're going to add some resistive load. As well as some inductive load. So our voltages come down, uh, our speeds also come down, right? So we're consuming power and we're consuming bars. So in order to rectify that, we're going to have to increase our prime mover power. So we do that. I'm trying to bring this back up to 60 hertz. we are. Now, alternator one must has sped up a little bit more and it's consuming five kilowatts. Alternator two is not consuming any. Alternator two wasn't brought up to speed fast enough. Okay, we're still a little low on the hertz so we'll just put some more speed to that one. So now we've got the majority of the wattage um, Pulling off generator one and a small amount pulling off the generator two. I'm just going to pull this up. See our watt meters on gen generator one and generator two. We've also got a kilobar um, meter on both, and they're sitting pretty close to the same. Now, if we want one alternator to, to take the bars, we're going to increase the field excitation on one and decrease the field excitation on the other. Uh, this is where this is tricky because your both hands got to be doing the opposite things at the same rate. Okay, so we've switched all of the, whoops, and I didn't get quite enough. Our voltage has come down. back to 200 volts. I've got this alternator carrying no bars and this one's carrying all the bars that we're consuming in the system. So we've done that by over exciting our field on on this one. We're just over one and a half amps and under exciting this field which we're just under one and a half amps. Now if we want to move the bars back onto this machine we're going to Do the exact opposite. So all we're doing is changing the field excitation. Now we've got no kilobars provided by this one, all the kilobars provided by generator one. So uh, once they're up and running, you can have whichever alternator you want to be uh, providing the majority of power. You can do that. Um, right now, they're almost shared equally. Um, I 
shift this up totally to zero. So right now, generator one is carrying absolutely everything. No kilowatts, no kilobars. Um, for one, the meters must be a little bit out of cal calibration. That machine's only drawing um, 0.2 amps. Um, this machine, or the, the amount of current traveling through, or this machine's providing, is just under an amp. This one's only 0.2 amps. So the majority of the work's being do, done by generator one. So if we want to shut generator two down to uh, to service it or whatever, we we can because there's there's nothing going on with it. Now you'll see this one must have been had a little bit been acting a little bit as a load because as soon as I disconnected it, our speeds went out of out of whack. And our hertz came up. So um, hopefully that'll show you how you can determine if, if our alternators are ready to connect together and how to shift the load from one to the other.